on Monday of this week, I built a new desktop for a CNC machine I want to build. Little did I know that my laptop would die. For whatever reason, it no longer connects to the Wi-Fi. I tried using different cards and nothing changed. I went out and bought a USB antenna, that, that little USB antenna, and that didn't work either. I don't know what it is. So here I am for a third time this week going to Micro Center. The first left, then turn right. The first one was to buy all the parts for the desktop. The second one to return one of the cards that I bought, the graphics card. It turns out I didn't need it. And here I am getting a desktop. I'm sorry, not a desktop, a laptop. Life isn't fair. And this week I spent a thousand dollars on computers. Head southeast toward Del Amo Avenue. I'm already here. As it turns out, looking at my receipts, I misspoke. I went to Micro Center on the 10th, and today is the 18th. You can see the total, and I ended up spending a little more than I wanted to. I just wanted to make it perfectly clear, I made a mistake. Also subtract $80 from the total because I took the 1030 back. I was at Micro Center three times in eight days. That's why I got things mixed up. Sadly, this is the laptop that failed. Um, I really, really like this one. It's just, I don't know what happened. I don't know why it won't connect anymore. It has an i7. It's a GL551. It has 16 gigs of RAM and about 500 gigs SSD and 500 for a hard drive. As you can see, it's all scratched up because I use it for work. I take it with me. And I built the desktop, but I cannot replace this laptop with the desktop because I need to take it with me. I need something mobile, and that's why I had to go and buy another laptop. I did not want to spend a lot of money. I just need something that works. And this is $500. There is an AMD version that's older, but I ended up going with the Intel because it's faster and it's newer. And for some reason, the AMD version is $50 more, which doesn't make sense because it's actually slower and older. I just need something that's entry level. Nothing really spectacular. This would be just fine for Placing aluminum with plastic. I'm a little sad about that. It is an upgrade, especially since this has the 1650 and the other one is an 860M. So it's definitely an upgrade. Also, 
this should have a better screen. While the computer charges, I decided why not show you everything else. Last time, about two or three years ago, I paid 20. Now it's 28. Kind of sad. The other one is going to be partnered with the CNC, and this one is going with the other desktop I have, which is powered with the projector entertainment purposes and since I'm not going to be doing much for the next while I have time so why not in the last video I hated the audio because you couldn't really hear me the cam the microphone was facing the wrong way want to make things a little bit better I've had this laptop for a week now, and I completely forgot that Windows 11 was a thing. Two weeks ago when I built the desktop, I installed Windows 10. And I noticed that the installation was a bit different, and that's when it hit me. Right now this only has 8 gigs of RAM. So that's going to be a bit of a problem, because the last one I had was 16. I wanted to swap it over, but they're different. The other one's DDR3, this is DDR4. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm installing another eight gigs of RAM. It is the exact same speed as the other one, which is 3200. I did not notice that gaming until right now. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I spent $20 on this. So it wasn't expensive, but it is a nice upgrade. If you're gonna open this, Start from the back and work your way forward. This is what it looks like. I didn't want to damage it, so I went to grab a popsicle stick. Well, it's not a popsicle stick. It's meant for paint, but it worked. It was dirty, so it didn't even matter. And you can see, I'm actually... I'm actually interested in the CPU. Some of them have four. This one only has three screws holding it for the thermal paste. It's got two fans, which is a little unusual, but it is, uh, it is Intel. Here's the new stick. The M.2 is nice. I'm a little sad that it's only one slot, even though you could clearly see they it has space for another one but they decided not to just to keep it budget I'm saddened by that too far maybe I didn't push it in far enough. But yeah, I'm, I'm saddened by this. Also, down here, you can see, if I turn it a little bit, you had space for a hard drive or another SSD. That's what happens when you buy budget. 15.7 of usable memory. Good enough. Just a quick easy upgrade, it only cost me $20, I did have to wait a few days for it to arrive, but now it's exactly where I need it. The SSD is 500 gigs, not a problem there, GTX 1660 I believe, eh, who cares. I did not expect to buy two computers in two weeks. I was fully expecting to build the desktop, but not the laptop. It was just a random surprise. I ended up spending $1,000, which I didn't want to. I was forced to. This was not a good week for me. I spent a lot more money than I wanted to. I wanted to do some other stuff, which I couldn't. I wanted to get this painted, 
Man, let me tell you, the tape on this is absolutely horrible. Took a very long time. A lot of other plans just failed on me. So next week, I gotta get this painted. I gotta paint some other parts, give the FRS a mini makeover, and maybe do some welding. I definitely gotta do some traveling. I'm, I'm forced to. But that's all next week.